Hello there, Jexer here and tonight is a Christmas day and we on this occasion will be playing Serena which has no relation to Christmas at all but it's atmospheric game, it's free, grab it while you can, it has great reviews Sometimes when I make a great effort I can remember her scent the sweetness of her breath Serena Yeah Seems like I cannot move. I can only photos right there. Maybe I can have another look. Just one more try. I know it's pointless, but I need to do it. I'm terrified of that photo. But I lose my mind if I don't have another look. I have to see her one more time. I'm so tired. How long have I been here? What is happening to me? I can't get myself to move my feet. There's something here I need to see. All right, I just have to. One more time. I'm so tired. Oh, it's going to be looping because I clicked it so many times. All right, then. Fine, be it your way. Look at the photo. What? There's something here I need to see. I have to see her. One more time. Dude. Yeah. I'm so tired. Dude. Yeah. Oh, I've been here. Do it. Serena, why can't I see you more clearly? Why can't I even remember? I don't know. Oh, this is disturbing, this is really. On that crisp winter night at our mutual friend's hunting lodge, we came back indoors laughing, giddy as teenagers. And what were you hunting? Like Serena, perhaps? Oh Jesus, this is going to be horror game, isn't it? Haunted time, like we were in a magic circle where no sorrow or pain could touch us. Yeah, sure. My love. We don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. You don't see her face, how is this important? It could be anyone. It could be a giant giant koala hiding there. The guy who snapped this? Our host that night? used an actual film camera. It was a different world back then. Are you serious? Was there even another guy? Perhaps? My love. Alright. We don't have a lot of photos of ourselves oh, as a couple, happened? so this one is quite important. So... What, what, what is the mouse doing, anyway? Oh, I, I see. Alright, I will be moving. She made this with her own hands. She was really good. All right. Something draws me to this trunk. Is it the memories locked within? Or something else? Maybe her corpse? We use this trunk to store trinkets and papers, but I can't help thinking there's something of importance inside. Like her bones, perhaps? Whatever. What's this? Come love with peace in your heart, save Niam of the ice blue eyes, ride with me, shed your mortal guise, here is our mount, a snow white mare, come Oisin, the garden fair, in the land of youth, ply your art, ours shall be, the cycle of days, our sun and sky and rainbow ways. Come love with peace in your heart. Said Niav of the ice blue eyes. Ah. Hmm. Blue eyes. Whatever. Whatever. I just read that and I have more sexy voice than you have. Everyone knows that. So. The furniture came with the cabin. Considering how off the beaten path this place is, that helped make up our mind. Okay. So what this? It's a. Uh... Whatever. Squeak. Squeak. What the hell? This is this is scary. I, I don't like. Still this. can't understand. Even the features of her face feel hazy and distant, like remnants of a broken dream. So many afternoons spent in this armchair. 
Alright, whatever. Vanishing Town Michael Ardhate. <laughs> I don't know. How how can a writer be named Ardhate? Seriously. So this. The things that keep us tired. Blah 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 blah. I have to see. Common sense and other lovely fairy tales. Nephilim, the greatest mystery. Private refuge. There must be something that reminds me of her. Oh, whatever. So much wisdom and happiness and the, the smell of old books. I loved it when we took down one of my fa Most of the books are mine, but all of hers are still here too. Yeah, and what happens to her anyway? She's in the box, isn't she? I know she's in the sharing meals with a good red wine was one of the great pleasures. Do, 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 do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially Dude, you are overly nostalgic, really. Overly nostalgic. She would brush her leg against mine under the table when we were eating. A curious, sensual thrill. Jesus Christ. What? No umbrellas? Can I go outside? No, I don't want to leave right now. Well, I don't want to leave right now. Here. Yeah, you like have corpse in the whatever, whatever. Okay. Quite a large armoire for our admittedly Spartan needs. She uses most of it. And the all mm. skeletons in the closet. But <laughs> she was perfect. I bet you have a skeleton in the closet because you are the murderer, perhaps. Oh, hello there. She adored all things of nature. I remember her long walks out in the woods. She is fairly religious, not me. I'm the cold and cynical bastard. But I don't remember that ever being an issue between us. Hmm. Like when you murdered her? Curiously, we... When you killed her in your cold there. bastard butt? We were surrounded by so many outside, and I guess we were saturated by them. Whatever. Just give me the key. I want the key. Oh, I have a feeling that as soon as I will step through this mirror, something ugly will show up in it. Nope. All right. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, the comb there with her hair. Blonde hair in the comb. Wow. Is there hairs? Perhaps. Blonde hair like sun rays. I'm remembering. Oh. Hers. I used it too when shaving. Hmm. Commune Evidence. Serena's favorite perfume. Whatever. So, what do we have here? Something? Something? Yes. Like How do I oh. say any of this? I like your way with words, but if I don't write this, I don't know what I'll do. My life feels so unreal now, dreamlike, but wonderfully so. Let me try, even if clumsily. The hours I spent with you when we last met are precious to me. I was so lost, such a short time ago. Everything seemed drained of color and feeling. I think we were meant to find each other, to bring meaning to our lives again, make sense of the confusion shrouding both of us. When we stepped into the crystal silence of the snowy woods, away from the chatter of the guests, all nature seemed expectant, as if holding its breath, witnessing a rare moment of something infinitely better than what life in the ordinary run of things has to offer. Do you remember how the light crust of the snow glittered in the reflected light of the country house? How the copse of trees in which we walked was haloed with a magical aura? I felt the chill of the night air, and you opened your coat and enfolded me in your arms, and we hugged tight, sharing the warmth, sharing the only thing any of us have to share on this earth when you think about it. Alright, this was like... Long <laughs> oh, it comes you, sorry. Snow, you devil. We laughed and rolled around, my head already spinning from the wine and crisp pure night air and the stillness all around. We lay back and I guessed when I realized what I was seeing. The luminous starscape, like a vast velvet cloth sprinkled with powdered sugar, like it can only be seen in the countryside. I had tears in my eyes when I turned to you and we kissed, and it felt like the only moment in all of time, or outside time, and ours was the only spark that could ignite the universe. You gave me these moments. You complete me in ways I never knew to dream of. 
Let me be the one who makes sense of the confusion whenever you feel lost again. We can make our own world against the rest of the world if need be. Together we can silence all the demons, heal all the wounds. I love you. In eternity yours, Serena. Eternity yours. Well, that's... Well, it's like... It's been so long all right. since I said her name out loud. I think that's the moment I fell in love with her. When she told me the soothing sound of her name. What soothing around Serena? Youth, really. Nothing. It's a beautiful day. Oh, oh beautiful a day. Alright, whatever. The clock is a trophy from our flea market adventures. Yeah, give me the key. Give me the key. Give me the key. Give me the key. Me the key. What the hell? There's nothing like. Oh. Contradictory. She didn't mind these. Actually, I think she was into them too. All right. Lucky man, if you have such a woman. Is it a porn? No. Shows you her body art. Hmm. Laney Berry, up very close and personal. I think it's porn. It's definitely porn. Oh, of course. Lesbian goats. Uh, myth or reality? What the hell? I don't know. Go go go! Ask around in in Goat Simulator. Perhaps they will give you the answer. Booktastic interview with Morgan Valnor. I am terrified of dolphins. Well, I guess no no motion pictures in the ocean then. Whatever. Language lesson in Linger you miss <laughs> blah 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 blah. I want just those lessons too. So glad to really. meet you. My name what? is Serena. What? What? What the hell? What was that? Really? Are there ghosts now? Our refuge from the world. A place of warmth and passion. Yeah, warmth and passion. I know exactly what you mean. We joked we needed to be so far out in the woods because that's how our sex life was. Far out. Um, all right, whatever. The furniture came with the cabin, but the bed clothes we brought with us. A place like this needs some luxury, but without her... Then why did you kill her? Look what I made, hun. in case we ever need to sweep something under the carpet. Really? See the pattern of yellow squares? It's from this rug I remembered from my nursery. I must have been like three or four, but it always stuck with me. So you remember her voice clearly, but you can't remember her face. What the fuck? No trap door under there. Just more creaky floor. Yeah. I always resisted the temptation to sweep things under there when it was my turn to tidy up. The rug's all crooked again. Can you help me straighten it out? No trap door under there, just more creaky floor. Unlike its sibling, this lamp would last for months. The ticking begins to feel homey after a while. The first night was a nightmare, though. Yeah, sure. I've always resisted the temptation Go there. to sweep things Go under there. there. My turn to tidy up. Seriously. The rug's all crooked again. Can you help me straighten? The no trap door under there. Shut up, there has to be key somewhere. Monsters under the bed. I guess they're all in my head. Yeah, they are all in your chest over there where is where is remnants of your Go. I don't think Serena would approve of me making an even bigger mess of the clothes in here. Just open it up! I'm a casual dress. No need to change clothes right now. Oh, I see. So, something in here for me? Come on. Give me something. Nothing. Alright, whatever. How about this? No. I really am just waiting while I open something like this and there will be like body part or, or something scary. Because this is going to be a horror game. I know it. It's just. It's a freaking horror, horror game. You can tell me it is not. 
We have much more interesting things than this plant inside the cabin. Like my books. Yeah, alright. Whatever, buddy. Whatever. Give me something. I'm starting to I'm starting to rage. The warrior in me is raging at the moment. Really? Alright, there is there, there is completely nothing. There's nothing in here. I can't even casual dresser. No. I just remembered why I hate adventures so much. So much. What's in here? Give me something. Give me something. The table is worn but sturdy. Our dining table. Quite modest. <sighs> I better stay in, in case Serena comes She's back. She's not coming back because you killed her. A lot of I did most of a lot of rare I did mo I didn't let mo I mo I didn't mo I didn't let mo I mo I mo most of the light most of the light most of the lot I did mo I mo I didn't lend out my Necronomicon did I? No, of course not. Wait, what? Necronomicon? What did you say? This. Alright, I, I, I may just have stumble over something I probably eat. Can't remember the last time I ate. Yet I don't feel hungry. Well, because you ate your life, but My body sabbat. How I learned the devil's music. The unfortunate life of Chocobo Sage. Whatever. Light and dark of the soul. English grammar for beginners. Really? English grammar. For <laughs> Even my grammar is better, sucker. So you want to be a purple tentacle? What? A night at the fairy grotto, behind the left-handed architect. The art of drowning. Who? Art of drowning, really. Cabras lesbianas macabras. My heart is racing. I can't help but feel there's something I have to do. Shut up. Most of the books are a lot of rarities and special. James Kilgore, portrait of a serial serial killer, but not a serial killer, right? But serial, like uh, the the thing you put on the bowl, like I'm having right now, and pour milk all over it, and then you eat, it, then you eat it. So serial killer, killer. Dream of snow. Whatever. Corridor 9. Dagon for goats in 24 hours. Whatever. Crowd from the. F Wait, what? There is no. Oh. Alright. Necronomicon, did I? What Necronomicon? You fucking psycho. Books are mine. Really? Really? Go, go back. And look here. Oh, wait. It's just. Okay. Whatever. Vanishing Town, Marshall Arthur. Well, I didn't lend out my Necronomicon, did I? Shut up with your Necronomicon. Of course. Not. Some unpleasant truth about himself. Dalmar Folklore Encyclopedia Galactica. All right. Searching for Dynasty. Odds to Kunquat. Pet Scrutor. Books, not drugs. Okay. Blind Earth. The San Christopher's School Lockdown. Zombie space dinosaurs from the deep ate my family. Daniel Lee Peach. Zombie space dinosaurs from the deep ate my family. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. <laughs> this game is too funny. Most of the books are mine, but all of hers are still here, too. A lot of rarities and special... I didn't lend out my Necronomicon, did I? No. Of course not. Most of the books are mine, but all of hers are still here, too. Things that keep us tired. Whatever. 
What keep you try to cycle? Come sit with me. I want to talk and cuddle. I want to cuddle too, baby. What did we talk about? Damn. You were talking about cuddle and sex, probably, but you were too frigid, so you killed her because she was like, "Come on." No, I'm not going to say this. Maybe. <gasps> the Great Underground Empire of History. Rarities and special editions here. Science fiction adventure. Blah blah blah. So where is your stupid Necronomicon? There is nothing in here. No, of course not. Oh god, this is the Christmas game. This is the Christmas game, not game. This is the Christmas day. Why are you doing me? Uh, doing this to me? I can't even talk anymore. All right, whatever. I will try to go there. I will try to do this. Hey, Serena, I remember. All right. Um, you're ugly. Sorry to say that. The guy who snapped this, our host that night, used an actual film camera. My love. All right, I remembered, and now music started, and I'm... Truth to be same, I'm sort of scary. Yeah, I, I mean scared. Shut up. Shut up, music. Whatever. What's this? Two friends stand by each other through any adversity. Why? We might just as well stay here. Get out this house is haunted because you killed your wife that is ugly I would kill her too maybe but it doesn't really matter something will be about these pictures like or this picture like she will be closing no no not really something anything whatever is she in the box is there anything worse than beautiful memories Turning to dust? I feel like I don't even have the strength to lift the lid. Oh my god. It once gave me so much joy. Now fills me with unbearable sorrow. So you finally remembered, huh? So, skeleton in the no state of the mind. But I feel even more depressed near this arm. Alright, be right back with you guys. So, I'm back here, and I actually must say that this game has no save mechanic, and I have no idea what I have to do. And it's sort of scary. Is it a dream catcher? As always, I automatically went to the window side, and she took the one by the armoire. Some of her scent still lingers. Yeah, sure, whatever. <gasps> the thing she said to me in the letter, in our life before things went wrong. Did she ever mean them? What? What letters? What are you even doing? Just hanging around in your stupid cabin like a weirdo because you killed your wife or something like that. It's like that uh, Lakeview cabin or what was that uh, flash game? What's the matter with me? I can't seem to remember even ordinary things. When was the last time we made love? I don't know. I don't even know when was your first time you were making love. When she came back that night? I could tell she was furious. I, I did try calming her down. Yeah, you killed her. Whatever. What night, by the way? She's gone. But why? Was it me? Yeah, you killed her. How long has it been, I wonder? I can't tell. And I miss her so much. Do it. Something good left in this world. They still make covers like this. Erotic, not obscene. 
she's beautiful, but what's her obsession with dolphins? Obsession? Wait, what? She's terrified with dolphins. We needed some incentive to go check the mailbox from time to time. It's some something good left in this world. She's beautiful. I needed some incentive. Something good left in this world. It's okay. Colors like this. Ah. Not. Jesus Christ. I'm scared of this stupid mirror. There will be fucking jump scare, right? Right? No? Okay. I, never, I still remember. Alright. She, she was, was my, my girl, girl with the sun in her hair. Proust wrote all his life about the associative power of taste. Oh, look! Look, spent his last what is that? She always reminded me to take these. I never asked her to. She just did it. Oh, some sort of pills. Alright. Okay. There is another drawer, alright. Okay. <gasps> Finally! I leave the keys here until she comes back. Because I know she will. She won't you kill her, she's in the fucking box. Where are you? I said I'd be back, and here I am. I did come back. Ah. <sighs> we also have a key for the outhouse. But can't be bothered to keep it anywhere other than under that rock next to the thing. No one comes here anyway. We did have a night prowler once who left a mark inside the outhouse. But we rarely lock it anyway. Night prowler? Prowler, what the hell? I never noticed it before, but there's some rust on the ring. Huh, should get a new one. We also have a key for the outhouse. Whatever. We bother to keep it anywhere other than under that rock. Right, what's this? What's the... Oh. And nothing again. Cool. Oh, there's a letter. Okay. I didn't check this. Okay. Oh, that is my watch. Give me my watch. Oh, no? Alright. Whatever. Whatever. What do I do? Really? Hey, hand me the water glass, will you? No, wait. Let me just reach over. Huh? No. So I'm you collecting memories. Remember the light crust of the snow glittered in the reflected light of the country house? No, I don't. No point in wiping this dust. What would it help? When did the color fade from these lampshades? That's why. Maybe if I go to sleep, I will wake up, and there she'll be, arms wrapped around me. The warm and passionate touch of her lips. But I can't sleep. It feels as if I've been awake for ages. I should really stay. I'm so tired anyway. Go to sleep then. the darkness inside right now. <gasps> There is only darkness, and it's this fucking box. Because you... So we never had any, even out here. But this would have been a good place to keep one, since it can be locked. No, there is no gun. There is your dead wife inside. <sighs> All those moments we sat at this table, laughing, smiling... So, what do we have here? We have seen many happy times. Yeah. I sure hope she comes back soon. She won't be coming back because she's dead either in this box or dead rather or in that fucking outhouse you're still talking about. Jesus Christ. I didn't cook. There's no way to go, there's nothing to do. Without any activity, the corner feels cold and lifeless. Yeah, because there is no activity. This is... Not only that you are psychopath, but you are also... Widow gets so gunked up. <laughs> why? Why? Why am I playing this? Again, I know why, I'm exactly why. I want to talk. There's something I have to tell you. Oh? I have been trying, and believe me, I've been trying so hard. 
So you killed her? I almost have it. What was she trying to tell? And she's leaving you with a douchebag who was taking the picture. And then you killed them both and chopped them to pieces and put them into that box over there. I can imagine, of course, we made love here, too. There was no place in the cabin we didn't before things deteriorated. Yeah, sure, whatever. The most comfortable spot in the cabin, well, along with the bed, of course. Someone said, work and love are the only things that ever really happened to us. Was it Freud or... Marilyn Monroe. Did I let my work destroy my love? Writing was so... It all seems so meaningless now. Most of the books are mine, but all of hers are still here, too. I'd give anything to see her standing here again, making coffee or sandwiches. I mean, You are a chauvinist, man. You should make her sandwiches, otherwise she won't left you. When she was you had a douchebag, you were like, come on, woman, make me a coffee and sandwiches. <laughs> and then we can make sex in our own bed. Because I'm alpha male. And you will do as I said. And she was like, fuck you, I'm leaving. And then you were like, what the hell are you saying to me? And you killed her and stabbed her into this very box. Why is she so frowning? It, God damn it. It's different. But that just it can't be different. This isn't it. Am I going mad? Yeah. You already gone mad when you killed your wife. He's angry now. Part of me realizes I should be more shocked by this, but for some reason, I just feel numb beyond it okay she was lying to me omnius music me all the time why did i let her do that because sex man it's always the answer i'm the one who should have been scowling she played me like a harp and made me look like a complete idiot yeah all of this these pathetic souvenirs from our relationship they're all lies. Mm-hmm. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Mm-hmm. Why torture myself trying to remember? Because you're a killer. To Mother. Even must. to think straight. I hate her so much. Suddenly? All of this... These... Pathetic souvenirs from her. Oh, shut shit. up already. They're all lies. It's a... So it's dark or what the hell? Um A part of me still thinks you'll forgive me and come back. But I've lost all hope now. Whatever. She won't come back because you killed her. The stains on this bed suddenly make me mad. Angry even. Stains? Life always end up so sordid and hateful. I'm not crawling in there. I'm too riled up for that, and it's it's just not dark. All the real color faded from it long ago. It must be full of dust mites. I told her the rug was fine work, like I know anything about handicrafts. But it's what the Empress wanted to hear, wasn't it? I couldn't care less about this damn thing. I torture myself trying to look too upset to even think. I hate her so much. Oh, so it's like I will be running around and all of this these I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Okay. I couldn't care less about the maybe I should have a look at the contact pages. Her and her damn spice. Sir why tort two up I hate her so whatever, much. Whatever whatever so she left you or she uh, I don't even know anymore. I don't know anymore. How could I have been so blind? Her vanity. Always fixing her hair before bed. Doting on her hair like a child. All she... All of this... I couldn't care. Why torture? I can't even... She never descended to criticizing my looks, though. Even when we fought. Even when my hairline started going. Where are you going? Oh, that's rich. Just run away. I just needed to... 
blow off steam to be somewhere else unless she was the one who left. I'm too upset to even think straight. You, you are an idiot. But you didn't, how can you not know what happened? I tried to flush these a long time ago. I mean, happened. Someone noticed, as if she cared about my impotent life. Oh. So. Okay. Somebody couldn't stand straight, right? High <laughs> blood pressure. What a load of bull. Oh, no, all right. I've never felt better in my life. Whatever. I'm sick and tired of having to pamper you like a baby. Fine, I hope you have a great, lonely time at the hospital. Hmm. I hate her you so had a, much. You hate her so much because she cared about you. You're a dick bag. And you don't even remember what happened. What kind of idiot are you? Meh. There's nothing in there. Whatever. Sunlight. Birdsong. Nothing feels worse when there's no hope. No chance of anything. Jesus Christ. Shut up. Oh, wait, what? There is no corpse? I sit here on the train, taking me to my final farewell to the ones who brought me to this world. I see the smiling couples on their way to new adventures and think, that used to be us. We had joy and laughter and friends once, but a memory is not the thing itself. You're very good at letting things you don't want to face slip off you. You continue as if nothing has changed, lost in your own lifeless world. Words and dreams may be enough for you. You know what? You'll get a chance to test that soon. I question how I once saw things. How much of what I thought we had were my own feelings, and how much of your manipulation. Because you are so very good with words, aren't you? You knew how to use them when we met, and for the longest time, I went along with the romantic whirl you conjured up around our shabby, isolated existence. Oh, it took me long enough to see it for what it was. And there were these moments that you swept me off on foolish flights of fancy when I threw myself into your fantasies. You wove your spell, plying me with your magic and with wine in equal measure, and I was taken in like the lost little girl I was. Do you realize all the pain you've caused me? No. They say if you have to ask whether someone loves you, you already know the answer. Protestations to the contrary can no more convince me any more than I can make my own mother or father draw breath again. Your aloofness tells a different story. I no longer know what you're thinking. With my parents gone and with your refusal to even accompany me in my time of need, something broke. Or maybe it happened long ago, but I never saw it so clearly before, even after everything. I don't make you feel comfortable? Really? That's all you have to say? I won't waste any more life waiting for things that'll never come. Of course, that's what you expect me to do. Play the good wife so no one will laugh at you for being the failure you are to shield you from the truth of your existence. Lost in your books and vapid verse, blithely drifting into the mists of time, as if not even a footnote when you could be raking at it if you'd only used your words for anything other than personal indulgence. You talked and talked about your path, the winter blueness of my eyes, all that nonsense. And the years rolled by, the seasons came and went, on and on. You pursuing your dreams that will never be, Lost in your damned words, looking for clues you'll never find. I'm sure you're doing it even now with your rotting books. You took the best years of my life and gave only empty words in return. We've gone as far as we can, and something's got to give. Us. Well, there you have it. You are an epic idiot. So what else do we have here? Box. What is it doing here? I don't know. You're here, probably. I couldn't care less. Why torture myself trying to remember? Um, no, go away from here, please. Thank you. Okay. So, journaling box belongs. What are you doing? Stop lagging on me. Something changed? Wait. Why are you lagging? Hello? Can you stop that, please? Alright, I'm back. And... General box belongs... I thanked that heartless slut at least once whenever she covered up her body. 
What? No, this isn't like me. I must calm down. If anyone is to be blamed, that's me. Yeah, right, because you're an idiot. This ugly old thing makes me feel s too upset to even think s I hate blah, it blah, so blah. much. Okay, no. Go here, perhaps? Oh, I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Just... God damn it. Dearest. How do I and then you toppled us on the snow. <sighs> I've already read that once and it's lagging again. Seriously, why those frames? What are you doing? Why are you? What? Okay. Why torture myself trying to remember? Too upset to even. I hate her so. All of this. these. pathetic souvenirs from our relationship. Okay, They're so all I guess. I got Jeller. What's in this stupid thing? How could I be so inconsiderate? Did this stupid lamp destroy my marriage? What? It's finally sinking in. She's not coming back. It's stupid. Feeble minded woman with her silly menial things. What? It was sh what good will reading a fairy tale? Jesus. I should tear all her filthy, disease ridden clothes apart and burn them. What? Everything she wore, just to lure me in. <laughs> Just go there. Just go there. Go to the stupid library. I'm not gonna look at this. This armchair. This is where we had that talk. Finally. I've been trying so hard, but we lost something along the way. Did you get my letter? Yes. I locked it in the box. Will you just listen to me for once? God, you're always... Wait, where are you going? Don't walk away from me. Serena, it doesn't really matter if he listens to you because he forgets it anyway. Because he's a red jack. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Blah, blah. What's in here? I want to hurl the whole... Some of these started a mildew long ago. All oh, those words. Those damn words. My whole life's been cons... Why torture myself? I'm too upset to blah, even blah, think blah. straight. Blah. Whatever, let's go progress. Yeah, I have a we feeling. need to talk. Yeah. I feel like throwing this chair through the window. The Whatever. Chair, huh? I should just smash this thing to pieces. Seriously. It's wobbly and off balance, just like she was. Especially that night. You are a retard. I hate her so much. So it was in here. Nope. All of this, these. Pathetic souvenirs from our relationship. They're all lies. So what next? I couldn't ca why torture myself trying to remember. Oh, this. All right, all right. Oh, is this a wedding ring? Wedding ring. Wow, happy these made her. She smiled, that wonderful smile. I must have gifted these to make amends or something, or did I? Did I ever gift her anything? No, because you're an idiot. She loved her trinkets more than she loved me. Right? Mm. I'm too upset to even think straight. Her wedding ring or mine? But what is it doing here? Oh, please, no. It's hers. I can't believe she would just leave it here. Where the hell is she? She's dead. You killed her. No, no. No, I didn't do it. I need to wake up from this nightmare. I hate her so much. Nightmare. I'm just waiting for there will be like some ugly picture and she will be deceased or there will be skeleton or something like that instead of that picture. Yes, go ahead and empty the whole salt shaker on your meal. I hope you choke. When did it go so wrong? This was supposed to be a... We weren't supposed to fight here. 
Yeah, but you did, and then you killed her. Hammering about the salt, feigning concern about my blood pressure. Should have emptied this into her lying throat till she vomited. You do see. You just don't get it, do you? You never do. Yeah, you never do because you forget everything. All this, these, I couldn't care less about this damn thing. <sighs> Why torture myself? For Shut all up. Go torture your wife and she's locked in the cellar. Maybe she's. Do I deserve to be forgiven? What about all the things she did and all oh, the things what? she said? What? Words and dreams may be enough for you, but you know what? You'll get a chance to test that soon because I've had enough. I'm too upset to even think. I hate her so much. Whatever. So was he here now? No, still the same. Okay. Okay. All of this, these pathetic souvenirs from our religion. I why torture myself trying to remember. I tried to be charitable with her, but what did it get me? Honestly, she could rarely carry a tune, so her humming habit got on my nerves. My wife has no indulgence given except what comes to her from heaven. We eat little, we drink less. This earth breeds not our happiness. William Blake Yeah, thank you for the quotation, Mr. Douchebag. She actually threw this at me once. She could have killed me. That's how the bedroom window got that crack. Yeah, my ex once showed a can of ananas at me and I didn't die. And if you think you could die in your pants. Here's your stupid omelet. Yeah. <laughs> Since you are. Heavy damn thing. Cast iron. Blah, blah, blah. I'm too upset to even think straight. Wait, is this blood? And it's blood. I know. You can't tell me it's not. It's blood. There is the place where you kill her. For so much. Is there more blood, perhaps? How did I didn't notice that? Holy shit. Open it. Open it up. All of this. I couldn't care less about. Why torture myself trying to remember? Okay. I'm too upset to even think straight. Whatever you say. So... She's in the closet, isn't she? Oh god. Um... Um... Yeah, she's in the closet. I knew it! I knew it! Jesus fucking Christ. Please, no jump scare. My god. What is this? It can't. Yeah, please don't come alive. I don't want, I don't want this. How did it happen? I can't remember. I do remember there is a blood stain over there. It's already rotten beyond recognition. But how much time has passed? You're a serious reader. It's dry and withered. Ah! Close it! Close it! Good. Ah! I, I just I have to turn the room up because there is something talking. talking. Oh, I still don't understand that. Oh, Jesus Christ. I knew that. I knew that from the very beginning. Because this guy is just nuts. He's not just a douchebag. He's freaking nuts. Just go out. So he... Wait. It's over there. They're talking over there. Okay. Do you realize how stupid this was? We had a plan. I took measures to ensure nothing like this would happen. But no, you couldn't help your damn self. We can't risk moving it now. The bulldozers are coming any minute. Fire will do it. Do you think they will buy it after all this time? It's been months since you've... Don't worry. It's all covered. 
He spent much time here. Fine. Give me the kerosene. Wait, what? What? And that, that stain is just a... Oh shit. We forgot your... Fuck. It was so stupid to leave it. Why did you do that? Can you calm down? I couldn't bear to wear it any longer. It's in a safe place. We'll pick it from the ashes. No! Not like this! Please! No! Here it is! I don't get it at all. So who actually burned who and was it even real? Okay, whatever. I'm not going to find out if there is another ending to it, if you can actually escape or something, or who killed her or whatever. Thank you for watching. This was Free Games Arena. It's on Steam. Grab it for yourself. Play it. It's a great game. Even though uh, we don't know the plot, it's like a pointless of playing it. think anyway so see you later so as I was actually watching my own playthrough I think I sometimes I have make a great effort I can remember her sin yeah, sorry, I skipped that. We already know, we already know all that. I uh, think it's... The furniture came with the cabin. Considering how off the beaten path this place is... Okay. I felt sometimes she would... You always... She is. Would you pay... Blah, 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 blah. Okay, still nothing. Our dining table. Never mind. Our dining table. This did one for all the... Charm of... Can you shut up? As a couple, so this one Please shut up. Important. Why is this glowing blue now? I mean, I just I just started the game because as I was watching my own playthrough, I realized uh, the story is sort of obvious if you think about it. Because as I was as I was standing, sorry, let me go, please. Thank you. As I was standing over here watching those two talking. And by the way, of course, I didn't, I didn't notice the, the blood stain because it wasn't hair. And as I progressed through the story, this place was uh, more and more ruined. And as he asked how much time it was, actually, there was a corpse in the closet, but it was not Serena. And the fact he is forgetting things, and the fact he, uh, he really doesn't know what happens. It implies he is actually. I still can't understand. Even the features of her face feel hazy and distant, like remnants of a broken dream. Mm. 
He doesn't remember anything. He can't. He can. He can't even remember her face. And he has everything messed up. And this is the reason why we know actually that he is a ghost. And even though he thinks for a second there that he killed her, and there might be even more things that I uh, that I actually missed. In her private refuge. Yeah, please shut up, man. You're dead already. And there, there may be even things that uh, that I missed, uh, like comments, uh, like those stains on the floor, because I went straight to the window, which was probably uh, the trigger to the end of the game. And if I would go through all this stuff in here, I would be able to perhaps uh, recover more about the story. And that is the that is why I did not. That is why I did not come to the conclusion for the first uh, for the first place but when I watched the video again I listened to the conversation of two people and they were mentioning about burning the place down they were mentioning that he was supposed to be here for months and it all implies to the fact that she killed him she killed him when they have that fight that I should look around some more. and when they actually did the fight he was killed not her and he was hidden in the closet but now the bulldozers are about to tear the place and by doing so it of course would reveal the murder it, it of course would reveal it of course would reveal that he is in the dresser he is hidden there his body is hidden there it's all rot it has been there for months and uh, she and her lover obviously doesn't want this because they killed him or at least she did and he had a plan how to how to get rid of the body and stuff but uh, the demolition of this cabin went into their way and I was I was shut up please possible that I can't remember her face because you are ghost now shut up and oh, what is making this clear is the fact that the man mentions that she forget the thing and it was foolish of her to leaving it here and the thing she left here was actually her wedding ring which we saw in my playthrough earlier and she said that it's in the safe place and that she come to recover it from the ashes of course uh, everything will burn down but metallic things won't it, um, the the heat of, of the fire in the cabin won't be so great to actually to actually melt the golden ring so she will recover this as the as the last clue that uh, that would probably that would probably link her with the murder and this is uh, the in-game confirmation that the corpse in the closet isn't actually Serena but it's him. After all, we saw close, uh, we saw that Corbs had, had no hairs, and uh, and I actually know that the hairs uh, are pretty durable. The human hairs it it lasts so long. They will they will look ugly, but they would be there. And if you look at the Serena, she has. If we look on this photo over there, she has uh, she has long hairs. Right? She says, shut up, man. It's shut the fuck up. But if you see it here, she has long hairs. Like this. Well, his hairs are short. They are corresponding with the corpse itself. So. Yeah. I think I, think I got it. I had to think about it. I actually. Uh, actually I actually was watching some movies and, and the stuff about the video was being compromised and then when I, when I watched it before uploading on the YouTube I realized I realized and that conversation those two were having actually made sense and uh, it all was real the fire was real everything was real what happened in the cabin I don't know you're probably playing something supernatural I mean, even looking at that hand now, it's in some kind of like sort of zombie. Maybe, maybe he is a zombie. Just boom, boom. No, he's a ghost because zombie would be the body walking out. 
anyway that's enough blabbering for me I just wanted to say to you guys that I I get the conclusion to this and if you think it is uh, there's some other story or they happen differently feel free to comment but I think I, I think I got the I got the right what they were saying because the obvious reference was to the ring and the ring is in the chest sorry ring is in this chest I miss her so much so how is it possible yeah. that I can't remember her face it's possible because you are a ghost all right thank you everybody for watching and see you and something else I will be playing players